Yo, what's going on? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to fix lag in XSplit. So stay tuned. It's been a cold winter and it's lasted far too long. If you want to stream gameplay quickly and easily, I highly suggest getting XSplit. Now, I used to use OBS and OBS, to be honest, it's a little bit of a pain to deal with, to set up, to get the settings that you want. But XSplit is incredibly easy to resize images, to change settings, to basically get things how you want them to be. So go to growonyoutube.com forward slash XSplit ASAP to go and download XSplit. You can also use my discount code JCarterAy to get 10% off. So do yourself a favor, go get XSplit today, jump start your streaming career, go to growonyoutube.com forward slash XSplit, use code jcarteray for 10% off. Yo, what's going on? I'm Jay Carter Ray from growonyoutube.com teaching you how to be better. And I got a question a few weeks ago from a gentleman called Lion Gaming and he was asking me how to fix lag in XSplit. So, there are a few ways to do this first of all i highly suggest you go and watch my video the best settings for streaming and recording in xsplit in 2018 that video will get you set up in the best possible way so that you'll have you know less lag and whatnot but if you follow those instructions and you're still getting lag and your your gameplay is a little choppy or something then this will help you out a little bit because i think what a lot of people may not know is actually how much internet you need to stream not how much internet but the internet speed you need to stream and how you need to go about doing that so for example give me a sec let me get the actual numbers on the screen so i haven't found any accurate numbers but i kind of know what you should be going for in terms of your streaming so if you want like a 1080p stream then your internet should be 10 mb upload speed or more and even at that point if you've got 10 mb upload speed you should be streaming at about 8 mb upload speed so what does this mean let me quickly show you let's go to our outputs let's go to youtube and let's go to the settings and we'll show you the the mb that we're talking about this is this is what i'm talking about bitrate so right now it's in kp kbps so it's in kilobytes but i'm talking about megabytes so this would be 10 MB right here. So I'm actually streaming at 10 MB and I get nice 1080p footage. Now, if you do not have 10 MB upload speeds, then you will need to scale back your streaming. 720p is usually what most people can go for. That is usually what I say to go for because I think that will be easier for you. I think your internet can probably handle it. If, handle it. if you're any lower than 720p, then you really need to look into how to improve your stream because if you're streaming at lower than 720p, no one wants to watch that. Like in this day and age where anyone can watch HD content, why are they going to watch your 480p or 460p stream? Like who wants to do that? So if you're streaming at about 720 then you kind of want your internet upload speed to be around 7 mb so that would be like 70,000 in here so let's put it at seven if it's at like seven well you'd want it to be at around 7 mb but you want to actually stream at about 5 mb so 50,000 uh, kilobytes now that will basically give you a ceiling. Now that's what you want. You want to be like two MB below your actual upload speed. You don't want to be streaming at your upload speed because then you'll probably run into a lot of lag. You want to give yourself a little bit of, you know, breathing room before you actually hit your actual upload limit. So if you want to stream at 720p, you should hopefully have like 7 MB of streaming power. Now you can have it lower than that. You can stream, I think at around 3,500 to hit 720p. I think you can do that. I think that's not too bad, but I would suggest, you know, trying to get up to like five 
and you know but beyond that you really want the most <laughs> upload speed like upload speed is where it's at if you've got all the settings right and you're getting a bunch of lag then it's likely due to your upload speed if you've never checked your upload speed before then you want to go to something like speed test or check your bills because you should have upload you should have you know they should tell you what your upload speed is on whatever thing you're using so we can go to speed test and we'll just go to the google speed test which is you know working right about now we should have a hundred megabits per second download to be honest but it's showing us 60 or whatever which isn't great but let's see what our upload is our upload is around 17 18 20 we're supposed to get around 20 and the upload speeds what I actually care about so that's what we're gonna be looking at and we're getting like 20 right about now so we should be able to handle multiple devices streaming HD videos video conferencing and gaming at the, si at the same time so we should be able to watch things on our phone and stream gameplay with this type of upload speed now because I'm at 19 upload speed and I'm actually streaming at 10 megabytes i've got so much more speed than i'm actually using and if you're using your upload speed in conjunction with the correct settings then you will find yourself having much less lag but if you're trying to push your upload more than your upload speed so for example if if i had 10 megabytes upload speed and i was trying to stream at 10 megabytes then i'd probably experience some lag if i was trying to stream at nine i'd probably experience some lag but if i went to like eight i'd probably have a better time there so that's probably what you need to look into i'd also suggest just looking into the standard for upload speeds actually i'm going to look into that and see if i can get you the real numbers up right about now so here we have the bitrate range which is basically you know the upload speed that you need in order to stream your gameplay to youtube at a specific you know quality so for 10 aep you need 3000 kilobytes minimum so that's 3 mb to around 6 mb so that's not too bad that's not too bad if you got 10 mb then you can pretty much stream at 1080p you obviously won't be able to stream at 1080p with 60 frames per second because you need more but more for that you need 4.5 uh, mb to like around 9 so obviously if you're streaming at 60 frames per second you're going to need more i will leave this a link to this article in the description below so you guys can check out all the different speeds i'm just going to look over the main ones not the 60 frames per second because i don't stream in that but like the main ones like 1080 720 that sort of stuff so for 720 you need 1.5 megabytes to around 4 megabytes or 1500 kilobytes to 4000 kilobytes and that's fine that's just under five so if you've got five then i'd say you know stream at like 2.5 or something like that and if you've got like seven then you can probably stream at 1080 at like 4.5 to be honest and you can try and push it but if you're pushing it and you're getting a lot of lag then maybe scaling down to like 720 will work out for you because if you scale down you're going to have much less lag and things are going to be smoother generally if you've got like way more upload speed than is needed to stream at that resolution now lower than that you really don't need to care about that because if you're streaming at, at 480p then you shouldn't be streaming you should be doing other stuff maybe just make videos for now until you've got a better computer to stream from or stream from your p well no you can't stream from your ps4 if you've got low upload speed you might as well forget it and just do videos and wait until you've got better upload speed to upgrade your internet because streaming at 480p is just trash unless maybe you're streaming at 480p just to talk to people and to interact with the subscribers that you already have the fans and viewers that you already have then fair enough but if you're trying to build a streaming career or trying to build a streaming channel don't bother don't bother at 480 you're you're moving really really mad no one wants to watch a 480 stream like let's be real in this day and age you're being wild so minimum of megabytes you want for an upload if you want to stream on youtube or on twitch i believe these these bit rates are pretty much the same is you want around 5000 you want around 5000 minimum and then at 5000 you can stream at 720 pretty all right you can stream you can have you set your bit rate range to around 2500 let me show you how to do that so you'll come to here 
Wait, is this at 50? Yeah, this is 50,000. That's a bit much. So you want it at 2,500. And then, you know, that will be okay. That will be all right. You'll be able to stream your 720p. You could even put it to 3,500. And that should still be all right if you're at like 5 MB. But don't push it too much. Don't go to 4,000. Don't, don't do that. You're getting a bit far there. But if you get to like 10 MB, then you can pretty much, you know, deal with this and, and have this at like, you know, 6,000 or something. Um, well, no, 6,000 would be pushing 1080. So if you've got 10 MB, you might as well do 1080. You can do 6,000. I'm actually at 10,000 now, which isn't necessary because 1080, like the bit rate range is 3,000 to 6,000, but I'm doing 10,000 just so that my upload speed is pushing it and there's no chance for any lag or anything like that. So if you've got 10 MB, then you can pretty much stream 1080p and 720p and and have low lag on your streams as long as you've got the right settings as well but i did make a video on the best settings for xsplit in 2018 so definitely watch that i think i'm pointing in the right direction hopefully i am because this is kind of like a mirror thing so if i point in the wrong direction that should be the right direction in post um but i hope this video helped you guys out if you've got any questions about this or any other tutorials you'd like me to make, please leave those in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching and liking and subscribing. I'll see you in the next XSplit tutorial. Peace out. If you want to learn how I got over 23,000 subscribers and millions of views on my YouTube gaming channel, then you are in luck. Sign up to this free course right now. Link will be in the card, in the description and in the pinned comment or go to grownyoutube.com forward slash 20k SEO course. In this course, you will learn the best way to write your video titles, tags, and descriptions to help you rank on the first page of YouTube. It's simple when you know what to do. I'll also show you a hack that will help you choose the right key phrases and help you create videos that can rank and get views no matter what game you play. Stop struggling to grow your YouTube gaming channel and start doing what works. Click on the link in the description or go to grownyoutube.com forward slash 20k SEO course. This course will not be up forever, so get in there as soon as possible. I hope to see you here soon and I wish you the best of luck on your journey of turning your passion into your career. It's been a cold winter and it's lasted far too long. So all this warmth I share with you